If you're looking for a cloud hosting provider, then you've probably looked around and you're maybe stuck thinking which one to use, what features do they offer? Well, today we're going to actually have a look at Henser. We're also going to have a look at OVH. We're going to figure out which one of these options is the better one. So let's check them out. We're having a look at Hensner now, and it was founded in 1997. Its headquarters is in Germany, and the company actually specializes in web hosting, VPS, and dedicated servers. So it's also known for its budget-friendly pricing without compromising on its speed and reliability. Because if you are making a purchase, then you shouldn't have to compromise or give up speed or reliability, especially reliability. Their data centers are primarily located throughout the Europe and they provide excellent connectivity for European customers specifically. It also has fast NVMe SSD storage with their Linux OS support, which gives optimal performance as well as flexibility. It is GDPR compliant with robust DDoS protection to keep all of your data safe. It also has console edge control panels, which provide easy server management with daily automatic backup. So your data will always be safe. You can see over here, there's a 99% uptime. The network availability is guaranteed for reliable operations. Again, uh, you are not having to give up reliability or speed for their pricing. You can also see over here um, their monthly cost for two CPU cores, four gig RAM and 40 gig disk space is just a couple bucks. And it's powered by a fast EPYC CPU with network infrastructures backed by a Jupyter technology. There's no free domain or site migration included in standard packages, and that is just something to note when you are moving over to Hensner. Let's have a look at OVH Cloud. So it's founded in 1999. The headquarters is in France, and it has grown into a global provider. Their services include VPN, bare metal, cloud computing, as well as dedicated servers. It maintains um, data centers across four continents, offering worldwide coverage and redundancy. Pricing is slightly higher than Henser and other, um, other competitors, but it does include additional features. You can see over here, it has multiple operating system options, NVMe storage and advanced VRAC networking capabilities. It comes with free SSL certificates, integrated CDN and comprehensive anti-DDoS protection. It has intuitive um, cloud control panel with a load balancing as well as a monitoring feature. You can see also over here, lastly, their performance as well as their pricing. So they also boast 99% uptime and um, they have a higher bandwidth tier with conditionally unlimited traffic. It also has a load balancing feature included for distributed applications. And also they do not include a free domain or migration services in their standard plan. So you will have to upgrade for that feature. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, there are so many options available. There's tons of software available. There's so many apps available it's easy to get lost. My advice is always to go and try two or three or four options and see what actually works best for your specific use case. Actually use it and see what actually is the right option. I hope this was helpful. If it really was, you can help the channel out by hitting the subscribe button. You can help us get to 10,000 subs. We'll see you in another awesome video.